Hi, today in this mini tutorial, I will show you how you can um, predict creep behavior in, in the case where you have a material model, but you don't actually have any creep data that you want to simulate. You just want to see what this material model would behave like in a creep scenario. So here's an image of a creep uh, situation that I like to predict using a material model. So to do this, I will go to the data section of M calibration, and then I will create um, fake creep data in some sense. So I'm going to create data here. I want 100 rows of data. And um, I want two columns, time and strain. So I say yes. I'm going to set this first one to be engineering strain, well, time. And I'm going to make the second column strain, engineering strain. Then I want the time to go from basically pretend to this to be a real creep experiment. So I'm going to start from 0 0.01, and I want the final time to be, say, 1,000. I'm going to select everything between by Control shift up arrow and then I'm going to uh, interpolate this range. I have a starting value, I have an end value. I want to interpolate everything between them by clicking Interpolate Range. I want to logarithmically interpret the data, so have it more spaced out evenly when I plot it on a log scale later. So here's my time column for the creep experiment, the virtual creep experiment. The one thing I need to do here is to make it start from zero. That's an M calibration feature that the start of a creep test is times zero. And then stress, well, I can leave it at to be zero because I don't really care about this. We don't have the experimental data. We will simulate this. So now I'm going to just create a load case from this. And here's my creep data. I'm going to uh, specify the creep stress, say zero, 0 0.5. And I want to reach uh, this creep stress is 0 0.1 seconds. I'm going to up here a name for it. I'm going to call it creep 0 0.5 megapascals. And uh, the plot style, the experimental data is, is really not something I want to care about. So I'm not going to even show it. Say no line. And the predicted will be red. So I click yes. Here's my creep experiment, my virtual creep experiment. Now, I need to uh, define my material model. So it's, it's assumed that you already have a material model. In this case, I was going to pick the Bergstrom Boys model from the Polyuma library. I say OK. And here is my material model. Here is my virtual creep experiment. If I click once, it would look like this. This is just strange. This is not what I want to plot. I want to plot on the x axis, I want to plot time. On the y axis, I want to plot engineering strain. But I want the x-axis to be on log scale. So I'm picking log scale, and I say OK. So here is my creep prediction from a material model using a virtual uh, experiment. Uh, if I want to do another stress level, I just create an, a copy of this. And then I'm going to do, say, 1, 0.3 megapascals, perhaps. Whatever you're interested in, i pick it here, too. I'm going to change the color, the predicted color. I'm going to make it purple. I save this, and then I run this once. And I have two different creeper curves in one uh, graph. So that's how you can make up a virtual creep test using M calibration.